A great lineup, but all beaten on this occasion by a man who definitely qualifies as overseas, certainly qualifies as sporting, and absolutely qualifies as a personality. He's one of the legends of the game. He's probably the finest ever bowler. Um, he's a great man as well. Bowl. Gushy bowl, well. He took 40 wickets for the series. To take 40 wickets in a five test match series and a losing side is an amazing effort. I thought he was a great bowler, but I didn't think he was that good. One of the best, if not the best, careers that ever lived. He never throws a towel in. I think you can put him up there in the top brackets of sportsmen in the world, Lance Armstrong, Jordans. He stopped fast bowling in its tracks and he brought in leg spinning. He's the greatest leg spinner the world has ever seen. And he's just a great, great cricketer. <laughs> I like to think that I've helped make spin bowling be a bit cool. What Shane Warne has achieved and what legacy he wants to leave. Um, never give up. Just absolutely never give up. Well, Shane is currently down under playing in Melbourne and we can go there live now where I'm delighted to welcome the voice of cricket himself, Richie Benno, and uh, invite him to present the trophy to Australia's King of Spin, Shane Warne. Hi, Sue. Great to be with you. And uh, I can tell you that uh, it's only a coincidence that uh, it's three months to the day since uh, England regained the Ashes after what must have seemed like an eternity. That was at the Oval, and precisely three months ago. Now, Shane Warne, you've seen on the screen there, is the greatest leg spinner of all time. And uh, he also took those 40 wickets in a losing series. And uh, he is the greatest bowler I have ever seen. It gives me great pleasure, and it's a privilege as well, to be able to present him with, uh, on your behalf, the uh, Overseas Sports Personality of the Year Award. Thank you very much, Richie. Thank you. Um, thank you very much uh, to the BBC, thank you very much to Richie, thank you to all the viewers. Uh, it really was a remarkable Ashes series. Also, I'd like to congratulate Michael Vaughan and his England cricket team on regaining Ashes. It makes, it's pretty hard to say that, but uh, congratulations, you thoroughly deserved it. To everyone else in uh, England that's uh, where I'm living at the moment, to Rod Bransgrove and everybody else involved with Hampshire, uh, thank you very much for your support. To Michael Cohen and his company over there in uh, England, thank you very much for making it a lot easier for me and my children when we go over there to England. So uh, thank you once again. Hope you're all having a wonderful night and um, enjoy yourselves. Thank you once again.